Hello everyone, welcome back to A Tree You Crochet. So in today's video, we will be continuing with my Crochet with Diagrams series. First, we're gonna do a quick review of the six symbols and stitches that we learned in last week's video, and then we're gonna learn four more for this week. At the end of the video, we're gonna look at these new stitches in a diagram, and we're gonna crochet out that diagram. So if this sounds good to you, keep watching. So let's start with the review. At the top we see that oval shaped circle that stands for the chain stitch and its abbreviation is CH. Moving on, the solid dot represents the slip stitch and its abbreviation is SL space ST. Next we move on to the plus or the X. Either symbol can be used and both stand for the single crochet. Its abbreviation is SC. Now we move on to the half double crochet and it's just the T. And then the double crochet is the T with one slash. The way you can remember that that one slash is the double crochet is that, think about the fact that you yarn over once before you go into the stitch, okay? For the double crochet. So yarn over once and then you enter the stitch, that's the double crochet. Which takes us to the treble crochet. Well, you yarn over twice before entering the stitch with the treble crochet. So when you see a T with two slashes like that, just remember that that's making the treble crochet. Now moving on to our new stitches, we have the double treble crochet. And you'll notice that that T has three slashes. So think about it as you yarn over three times before entering the stitch. And its abbreviation is DTR for double treble crochet. Next, we have the elongated single crochet. So it uses the plus, where we learned earlier um, was one of the symbols that we use for single crochet. And then kind of a long curved line, okay? That is showing you that it's uh, elongated. So elongated single crochet and its abbreviation, if you can call it that, is the word elongated and then SC for single crochet. Moving on we have the reverse single crochet. And you'll notice that we're using the plus sign again for single crochet and it has kind of like that tilde symbol above the plus, okay? So that stands for reverse single crochet and its abbreviation is REV and then space SC. And then finally, the fourth new stitch that we're learning today is the long double crochet. So it's kind of like a T except for it's a long curved line. And of course, it has the one slash because remember, you yarn over once before entering the stitch. Its abbreviation is long DC for long double crochet. Okay? So when you're thinking about which stitch it is when you see the slashes, the only one that it won't work for is the half double crochet, which is a T with no slashes, but we already know, especially if you watched last week's video, that you do yarn over once before entering the stitch with that half double crochet. Uh, so that little trick that I told you about, you know, the number of slashes equals the number of times that you yarn over before entering the stitch, it does not apply to the half double crochet, that symbol. That's the one exception. All right, let's move on to the diagram. All right, so before we get to the actual crocheting of it, I would like to actually go through the diagram with you so that you can know what to expect. All right, so let's start where it says start, right there, okay? And you see that we have to chain out 14 chains, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 14. Then we're going to work a double treble crochet in the fifth chain from the crochet hook, or another way to say it or look at it is you're gonna crochet that double treble in that 10th chain, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's where you're gonna put your first stitch. These four chains right there are equivalent to a double treble, okay? So that's why we crochet into the fifth chain from the hook or the 10th chain up. All right, and then we're going to put another double treble in the ninth chain. Then we're gonna chain one, 
right there and we're going to skip the eighth chain and then put a double treble into the seventh chain we're going to chain one skip the sixth chain put another double treble there in the fifth chain chain one skip the fourth chain and put one double treble in the remaining three chains okay that's row one moving on to row two which is in blue okay it's in a different color to let you know that we're looking now at the back side we're going to only chain three okay the reason is because we're going to be using the double crochet for this row so we chain three up and then in the next stitch it's going to get a double crochet and then in the next one it's going to get a double crochet okay but then here in that next stitch you see that we use a long double crochet and the reason it extends all the way down is because it's long and we're going to enter the chain way down there okay so we put a long double crochet and then the next stitch just a regular double crochet and then we're gonna put another long double crochet going down to the sixth chain and then a double crochet and then another long double crochet and then we're gonna finish out the three remaining stitches here with just double crochets that is row two row three we're looking at the front side again as is evidenced by the fact that I'm I've written the pattern in black so this time we're only gonna chain one and the reason that we are using only one chain to start this row is because we're working with the single crochet so you chain one and you see here that this is an elongated single crochet which is going down to the top of row one and then we're going to make another elongated single crochet for that next stitch and then the next one two three four five stitches will just be regular single crochets okay notice they're not elongated and then after that the next two stitches are two more elongated single crochets and then we're going to end the row in that final stitch with just a regular single crochet that is row three and finally we move on to row four chain one and this row is really easy you see every stitch just gets one reverse single crochet all right you guys are ready to crochet this out and see what it looks like let's do it all right so we're gonna start with a slip knot we'll insert our crochet hook and close the loop all right so as the diagram shows us we need to chain 14 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen now the pattern tells us to make a double treble in the fifth chain from the crochet hook or that tenth chain so if you count from this direction it's the fifth chain from the hook so here's the hook one two three four five that's the fifth chain from the hook or another way of counting is from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that's the same chain okay so remember with the double treble you yarn over three times so one two three and now we'll enter that fifth chain from the hook yarn over pull through to the front that gives us one two three four five loops on our crochet hook so just like with the double crochet and the single crochet you're going to yarn over and go through two okay yarn over go through two one two repeat yarn over go through two one two repeat yarn over go through two one two one more time repeat yarn over go through two one two okay so it's a really tall stitch and you have to yarn over and go through two several times to actually complete it let's move on now it says to put a double treble crochet into the ninth chain so that very next chain which is there 
So remember to yarn over three times. One, two, three. And if you ever forget how many times to yarn over, just look at the symbol. The symbol has three slashes, okay? Into the chain, yarn over, pull through to the front, okay? Have five loops on our crochet hook, so we're gonna yarn over, go through two, that's one, yarn over, go through two, that's two, yarn over, go through two, That's three, yarn over, go through two. That's four, okay? So we know that when we make the double treble, we yarn over and go through two four times, okay? All right, now it says to chain one. So we chain one and it says to skip a chain and go to the next chain and we're gonna put a double treble there. So one, two, three. We'll skip a chain and enter the next chain and create another double treble. One, two, three, and four. Okay, the pattern now says to chain one again and to skip another chain below, go to the next chain and create another double treble. So we yarn over three times. One, two, three, and go into the chain after the one we skipped and create another double treble. One, one, two, that's two. Yarn over, go through two, that's three. Yarn over, go through two, that's four. Okay. Now, our diagram, the pattern says to chain one again. Chain one, to skip another chain down below, and to create another double treble in the next. Three chains. So, Yarn over three times, one, two, three. Then we skip that chain and we'll enter there and create a double treble. One, two, three, and four. So that's one. I remember I said the next three chains, so we have two more left. So we're just gonna continue putting double trebles in the two remaining chain stitches. Okay, and one more. Yarn over, yarn over, yarn over. So yarn over three times and then enter the chain. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two, one time. Yarn over, go through two, the second time, yarn over, go through two, the third time, and yarn over, go through two, the fourth time. Okay, so this is what we have. It's a little odd looking right now, but it's going to turn into a pretty butterfly, <laughs> I hope. Okay, so moving on to row two, which is indicated by blue on the diagram. It says to chain three, so one two, three, we're gonna turn our work. And now it says to put a double crochet in the next two stitches. So yarn over and go, this is the next stitch. So we just enter the top of it, put a double crochet, and then the next stitch there, put a double crochet, okay? So we chain three, turned our work, and we put a double crochet in the next two stitches. These are the next two stitches. Now we're going to put a long double crochet into the next stitch, okay? But you can tell that that long double crochet extends down to the row of chains. So we're gonna bypass this chain right here and go down here. So the long double crochet is pretty much just like a, a regular double crochet except you make it longer. So I'm gonna extend my loop just a little bit. I'm gonna yarn over very loosely and then I'm gonna go down here to that chain at the bottom there. Okay, and I'm gonna enter the chain like that, okay? Now I'm going to yarn over, pull through to the front, and once again, very loosely, give yourself enough slack to pull up on your yarn so that you can get back to the height of the row that you're currently on, which is row two. All right, so, we have three loops on our crochet hook, so 
This is just like a normal double crochet. And you see now why it's called the elongated double crochet. <laughs> yarn over, go through two, okay? And then two loops, yarn over, go through two. And that's your elongated double crochet. So it really wasn't that big of a deal, you guys. All right, so now we go back to the regular double crochet on the next stitch. So that's here. So yarn over, enter the top of the stitch like that. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. All right, we have another gap. And it says to make a long double crochet there. So lift up on your loop a little bit. Now loosely yarn over and go back down to the row of chains. Enter that chain that you skipped. Just go in there like that. Yarn over, pull through, and give yourself enough slack to get back up to the height of the current row. Now we're gonna yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So that's our second elongated double crochet. The next stitch, we make a regular double crochet. So that's this one right here. So just enter the top of the stitch like normal and make a double crochet. Now we have to make another elongated double crochet. So pull up on your loop a little bit, yarn over, go down to that chain in the gap there, the chain that we skipped, enter it, yarn over, pull through to the front, and Give yourself enough slack to get up to the height of the current row that you're working on. Okay, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Now we're gonna finish the row out, the next three stitches with just regular double crochet. So yarn over, go to the top of the stitch and make a double crochet. So one, two more to go. Next stitch, one in there and then those four chains right there, we're gonna put it into the top chain there. So just find the top chain, enter it, and make your double crochet. All right, so that is row two. And that's what the elongated double crochet looks like. Now for row three, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and it says we're starting out already with two elongated single crochets, okay? And we're entering the stitches at the top of row one, okay? So this is row one. This is row two that we just finished and we're currently on row three. So we chained one. The chain one is for that first stitch. The next two stitches get elongated single crochets. So this stitch, instead of going into that stitch, we're gonna go into that stitch right up under it. And you remember you don't yarn over before entering the stitch with the single crochet. So we're just gonna take our crochet hook, go into the stitch below, yarn over, pull through to the front, give yourself enough slack to bring it up like that. And now yarn over and go through two. That's your elongated single crochet. We're gonna do the same thing for the next stitch. Remember, don't yarn over, enter the stitch, which is down there. So this one was for that one. For this one, we go into that one. So just go into the top, yarn over, pull through to the front, give yourself enough slack to get up to the height of the row. Yarn over and go through two. All right, so we started out with the two elongated single crochets. And now for the next five stitches, we're gonna just put one single crochet. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we just put our five single crochets in those five stitches, or one single crochet in the five stitches. And then we're gonna, in the next two stitches, put one elongated single crochet again. So this is the next stitch right here, but remember we're going down to the previous row, to row one. So 
we'll insert our hook down there yarn over pull through to the front give yourself enough slack to get up to the height of the row now yarn over go through two the next stitch is here but we go down here we enter there yarn over pull through and pull it up to the height of the row yarn over go through two and then finally for that chain three there in the top chain of the chain three that's where we're going to put just a regular single crochet so just find the top chain and put a single crochet okay so this is what we have so far now moving on to the final row row four we're going to chain one but for row four we're going to do the reverse single crochet which means we have to work backwards so we're not going to turn our work like this because if we're supposed to be working backwards there's nothing there to work on right so since we're working with reverse crochet we've chained one but we're not going to turn our work because we need to work backwards so we need to go from left to right instead of right to left so we chain one and the chain one is over that very first stitch so in this next stitch there right there that elongated single crochet that's where we're going to put our first reverse single crochet so what you do is you take your crochet hook this is the stitch you enter the stitch like that now you yarn over and you pull through to the front two loops one, two, yarn over, go through two. The next stitch is here. So we just rotate our crochet hook backwards like that and enter the top of the stitch. And now we yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops, one, two, yarn over, go through two. And you just keep doing that. We're putting one reverse single crochet in every stitch across. So rotate our hook, go onto the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops, yarn over, go through two. The next stitch is here. Rotate your crochet hook to go backwards, but in, still into the stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops, yarn over, go through two. The next stitch is here. Rotate your crochet hook to go into the stitch there, yarn over, pull through to the front, go through two. The next stitch is there. Rotate your hook to enter the stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops, yarn over, go through two. And just keep making reverse single crochets across. This is the next stitch. Enter it where you normally would. The only difference is we're going backwards, okay? Here's the second to last stitch, that elongated single crochet. Yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops. I can separate them, one, two. Yarn over, go through two. And then in that chain one, we're actually, yes, going to enter there and put our final reverse single crochet for the row. Yarn over, go through two. Okay? Now we're going to chain one and cut our yarn fasten off. Okay? So this is what you have, you guys. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. You'll see that this is what you have, okay? So it's not the most beautiful pattern, but the point of this tutorial was not to necessarily come up with a beautiful pattern, right? It was just to give you some practice reading a crochet diagram, looking at the symbols, identifying the symbols, knowing what they mean, and putting it into real practice with your crochet hook and yarn, okay? So this is what we have. You've learned now the double treble crochet, the elongated single crochet, the reverse single crochet, the long double crochet, which I might have accidentally referred to as the elongated double crochet, but you get the point. And then in last week's video, you learned the slip stitch, the chain stitch, the half double crochet, the double crochet, the treble crochet. So we are definitely making good progress. 
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit the like button. And yeah, if you want me to add more videos in my crochet with diagram series, then let me know. That is it for this video. You know I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting. And you guys, this is actually one time where the back, in my opinion, <laughs> looks better than the front of the work. Normally the front of the work is kind of where it's at. It's the cream of the crop, but not so much this time. I think I definitely like the back better. And you can tell that this is the back because the tail is on the right side. And the tail is normally on the left side. So front, back. Let me know which side you guys prefer.